Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. And here we have a nice tropism A, B, C, D, in which the area of this tropism are 240 meter and the one side length of this trapezium a b is 15 meter and the other side length of this trapezium b c is 20 meter and here we find the unknown side length of this trapezium so here we have the first unknown side length is x and this unknown side length is denoted by y so it means that here we just find the value of the side length x and side length y so that uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first you know about the area of the trapezium so now first we write here uh, what is the area of trapezium okay so uh, you very well know about the formula of area of trapezium and uh, uh, it is equals to 1 over 2 times of uh, height half times of height uh, multiplied by sum of parallel sides and we have uh, we write here sum of parallel sides so this is the uh, formula to find the area of trapezium so here if you focus on this diagram uh, we have we have area of this trapezium is 240 meter and uh, the parallel sides are ad and bc so here you see that ad and bc are the parallel sides so the sum of parallel sides are <coughs> x plus 20 meter so now we put these values uh, in this formula and we move towards <coughs> over final answer so here we have area of trapezium is 240 meter equals to 1 over 2 times of height and if you see here we have the height of uh, this trapezium is 15 meter and uh, sum of parallel sides are ad plus bc so because these two are parallel sides so here uh, we write the height is 15 meter multiplied by sum of parallel sides are x plus 20 so now first we simplify this equation and here we move this 2 in the left hand side and it will become 240 multiplied by 2 equals to we multiply this 15 on both of these terms and we get 15x plus 15 times of 20 equals to 300 and when we multiply this 240 by 2 then we obtain here 480 and we move this 300 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 300 and it is equals to 15x and now we subtract 480 by 300 and we obtain 180 equals to 15x so this implies that we divide this 15 on the left hand side and we get the value of x so our x equals to 180 over 15 so that here we get 50 180 divided by 15 it is equals to 12 so uh, this is the our first unknown side length of the given trapezium so here if you see again in the diagram we find the value of this x so our this x will becomes 12 and now uh, here we move towards to find the value of y so that here we draw a, a perpendicular line from the point d to the side bc and we uh, we named this vertex as e so here we uh, draw a perpendicular line de in the side length of bc in order to find the value of this y and now you see that when we draw this perpendicular line then we get a rectangle a d e b so this will becomes the rectangle and you very well know about the rectangle 
the opposite side length of rectangles are same so if the side length of this is a, a this is 12 so it means that the side length of be is also 12 and if the side length of a b is 15 it means that the side length of de is also 15 because the side length of opposite sides in a rectangle are equal and you know that this triangle or oh, sorry this rectangle has make 90 degree angle on each corner so all these angles are 90 degree and this angle also becomes 90 degree and uh, if we denote this is any other angle then uh, we get here a nice rectangle DEC and you know about the uh, triangle right triangle DEC the side opposite to uh, the right angle is called hypotenuse or in other words the longest side is called the hypotenuse and the side which join these two angles is known as its base and this side is called the perpendicular of this right triangle and here you see one thing is that this 20 be the total side length of BC and we have the side length of BE is 12 and 12 meter and now first we find the side length of EC so that here uh, we just a little bit explain uh, in this way as now in order to find the value of Y uh, we see here the total side length of BC equals to 20 meter and uh, when we, do, uh, we divide our BC in, in two parts which is BE plus EC so that we put here our BC equals to sum of the uh, length BE plus sum of the length EC equals to 20 and uh, you again see here uh, in the diagram we have the length of side BE is 12 and we find the length of side EC so here we substitute the length of side BE is 12 plus EC equals to 20 and this implies that the length of the side EC equals to 20 minus 12 becomes 8 so that uh, if we again see here in the diagram we have this side length will becomes 8 meter so that we have uh, the perpendicular is 15 base is 8 and we find the hypotenuse of in this triangle so uh, now here we use the nice Pythagorean theorem uh, so according to the uh, Pythagorean theorem we know that hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square so this is called the uh, Pythagorean theorem and now we we substitute here the values of hypotenuse base and perpendicular and if you see here in the diagram we have our hypotenuse is y base is 8 and perpendicular is 15 we substitute all these three values uh, in this formula and we get here our hypotenuse is denoted by y and it will become y square equals to base is 8 square plus perpendicular is 15 square and when we substitute or simplify this expression then we get 8 square equals to 64 and 15 square equals to 225 and uh, when we add 64 plus 225 it will becomes 289 and we take the square root on both of the sides of this expression then we get here y equals to 17 meter so this is the other unknown side length of the given tropism and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos